Hey everyone, welcome back to Pine Hollow out of Diagnostics. We're on the border of Pennsylvania and Ohio. Uh, coming back from the ProMaster disaster van. Customer has been on a waiting list for a while with a 2016 smart car. Never seen one of these things in person. Has 127,000 miles for about two months. It's been kind of acting up, losing power, um, but drivable. And now it's a beached whale. He says it cranks, doesn't start. Um, he scanned it for codes at some point. He said crankshaft position sensor, turbo wastegate. So this is a three cylinder, 0 0.9 liter, 900cc turbocharged engine. That's under the floor of the trunk. Funky design, but I scanned the whole thing for codes and in motor electronics, no code stored. Read fault code, no DTCs. Um, let's just try to crank it, see what happens. Now he uses this thing for, I don't know, delivery or something. So, front seat's out. Now let's see what happens. <laughs> I'm going to try to press the gas a little bit while cranking. Okay. Um, let's read fault codes one more time. No DTCs stored. Data stream. Oh, will it even read data while cranking? I want to see an RPM signal maybe, engine speed. Let's look at boost pressure. Intake manifold pressure, just a couple basic data pids. So I'm going to crank it. Okay, there is an RPM. Pressures are good. I, I'm going to pop out a spark plug, see if this thing has spark or if they're fuel, you know, soaked or what. Alright, well, the spark plug is soaked with gas, so apparently we have a no spark situation. Okay. Now the plug itself doesn't look terrible. The Bosch, the iridium, the gap never changes, so gap is fine. I don't know if it's fouled out. But we can just put it right here with the coil, put the camera on it, and see if it sparks. Alright, got the spark plug grounded. Let's just crank it over, see if it sparks. It does have spark. Okay. So it has spark. Definitely has fuel. Now I don't know if it's supposed to crank like this. Let's put a pressure transducer in there. I don't know if this is a timing chain or timing belt engine. I just want to see a good compression waveform, make sure the chain's not broken or something silly. Alright guys, here's a quick setup. Cylinder 1, pressure transducer installed. That's on. And channel 2 is going to be a trigger on current going through coil number 1. Spark plug still grounded. Let's just crank it over, see what happens. We're on a 80 psi scale. Ready? We got five pounds of compression. That's fantastic. Okay. Fun times. Alright, so obviously the timing is way, way out on this thing. You can see the spark is occurring after TDC. We can do an exact degree measurement. About 46 degrees crank after TDC. And our maximum compression is 4 psi is dropping down to minus two. Um, can we say exactly which cam is out? I mean, for curiosity, you can say, well, I guess the intake valve is closing right about here. This is bottom dead center. TDC, TDC exhaust. This should be an intake stroke, and then we should have compression. We have a very slight bit of compression. 
Um, this is at 604 degrees. And that's seven, let's see, this is at 640 or 650 and we're only compressing this 720. I'd expect the compression to be a little bit higher than that, but these are also wa washed down. And then what happens here? We pull into a vacuum. It looks like the exhaust valve only opens way late at 240 degrees instead of around 180. So that's like 60 degrees too late. Um, everything's retarded by 60 degrees, it looks like. Valve timing, ignition timing. So this timing, it's a timing chain engine. Let's see here, I was just looking at a picture of, uh, of the layout. There it is. Thanks to all data, we have nice pictures. Um, dual overhead cam, intake, exhaust, tensioner, I mean pretty classic layout. Uh, I checked the engine oil, it's it's completely black with sludge. I mean, that's disgusting. I probably shouldn't touch this with my finger. Oh. It looks a little sparkly. Um, obviously the engine is not very well maintained. Finally, it's crapped out. Unfortunate, so that's the end of this smart car. Appreciate everyone watching. Stay tuned for more. I really want to take this thing on a test drive, but it's a beached whale. I think it's going to the crusher, kind of where it belongs. Kind of a useless vehicle. Um, but, <laughs> there we go. That's the end of the diagnosis.